Right, that's going to be a little bit awkward because I've misplaced something. Hey guys, we are talking about robots again. I've talked about SwitchBot previously and they had those little devices that you could use to switch pretty much everything. And I know this is a pretty silly idea, but I ended up liking it a lot. So if you're interested in what these small babies can do, just click through to this video and you'll find out more. But in this video, we're going to talk about a bigger brother. This is SwitchBot for curtains. It's the bigger brother and as the name suggests, it helps you to open and close the curtains. And the idea is super simple, but simplicity of it, it doesn't mean the device isn't actually functional and fun to play with. I really like the design principle, imitate the motion, because it, all it does, it uses a simple motor inside of this robot to pull on the curtain, something you would otherwise do with your hand. It's brilliant, it doesn't require additional infrastructure, and as long as you have a supporting pole or rail, because switch boards work with both, uh, then you'll have no problems. And the installation? Well, installation, there is none. All you have to do is just clamp this bot around the pole, or if you have a rail version, because there are also a version of this switch bot for rails, it's just fit the rail fittings, and you're ready to open and close your curtains. It's super simple. But SwitchBot goes a step further. There is another thing, apart from USB Type-C, thanks guys, I actually appreciate this, there is a light sensor at the back. Now, that's brilliant because it's not binary as well. So it's not just it's dark outside, so let's close the sensors. You can actually measure light levels and act upon it. That creates interesting opportunities for opening and closing blinds depending on lighting conditions outside. These devices using Bluetooth to connect to each other. And I don't really like Bluetooth myself, but I'll give them that there are certain advantages of that. First of all, this is Bluetooth BLE, so low energy, which means the battery probably gonna last you, judging on my current usage, about one to two months. That's okay. Now, you can operate them directly from the app using your mobile without the need for a hub because it will work directly. But if you want to enable additional services like uh, Amazon Echo or Google Home, you will need a SwitchBot hub. But the hub itself also isn't just a hub. It's actually IR Blaster, so you can use it as a remote control for various different devices and it will enable additional functionalities and automations. I talked about this hub in particular in my previous review of the SwitchBot kit, so strongly recommend you to go to that video if you want to know more about functionality. Now, this isn't only device about curtains. There are two supporting devices to support SwitchBot action. Now, first of all, there is a solar panel. Unfortunately, I don't have an access to a solar panel myself, and to be honest, I'm in England, which means there is no sun, so it probably wouldn't work. However, you can use the solar panel to attach it to the rail and it will recharge your SwitchBot, extending the battery life even further. The other accessory? Well, I'm embarrassed to say, but I've actually misplaced that button. It's a Bluetooth button that links directly to a SwitchBot and you can use it to manually toggle the device. Unfortunately, I can't demonstrate it because well, the button is somewhere out there and I've looked through the entire room twice and I couldn't find it. I do apologize for that. But if the app and voice controls aren't enough, you can simply pull on the curtain and initiate the robot. Robot is smart enough to recognize that and will continue the movement, just in case the connectivity isn't working for you. Automating sunlight is probably not something that you're gonna put on the top list of your automation priorities, but frankly speaking, you should, because it's quite important and it's very effective. I use several different policies at my home, which pretty much are very cool. The obvious one is sunrise and sunset. So at sunset, a switchboard could increase your privacy by simply shutting uh, the curtains. That way you can come out of the shower and, well, not wear anything without getting embarrassed in front of your neighbors. 
But uh, more interesting uses involve, for example, a cinema time, because you can connect the switch port with the hub, then you can link both services together and, for example, with a voice command, shut the windows, open the TV and set the selected channel thanks to built-in infrared blaster and programmable commands from this little device. It creates interesting opportunities and personally, I use that very much behavior to trigger an audio system for my projector. Lastly, you can use this little device to support your home heating. Having a nice heavy curtains will protect your household from a heat exchange. That works both ways, so in the winter time it cooperates with my $5 DIY Nest system, you can read about it more in here, watch the video there, uh, from actually spending more money than it needs to, because once the curtains are closed, less heat is escaping the room. In summer I can use this, it's a switch bot, temperature and humidity sensor to shut the curtains and prevent the excessive sunlight from getting inside the room. This is something that anyone running AC would appreciate during the summer. In action, switch bot for curtains, it's pretty invisible. He also travels quite fast, however there is a second mode, which is a silent mode, and it slows down the motor significantly, so the device would perform in a more quiet manner. I find it much quieter than, for example, a blind controllers. It only takes a couple of seconds to open or close the window and the bot itself comes with two performance settings. There is obviously a faster performance mode and more quieter, slightly slower mode if you prefer silent operation. So far there have been nothing but the praise about this little curtain bot. So let's talk about weak points. First of all, it's the compatibility. While it's superly easy to actually get this installed and it's compatible with most of the poles or rails, you'd have to double check that this switchboard supports the fittings that you have at your household. When we're speaking about fittings, I should really mention the poles that are being split into a half. Most of the poles, <laughs> I'm Polish, most of the poles I have in a the house, they are split in the middle with additional support bolted in the middle of the rail. This is something that this device unfortunately cannot overcome. This means that you would have to get another one of those to operate it from the other side. Now, from a usability standpoint, it's not a problem because SwitchBot has you covered and the dual mode it is possible via app and you can group the devices together for ease of operation. However, automating blinds like this will cost you double. And speaking of money, a single device like this will cost you about 60 to 70 pounds depending on uh, the type of the fitting you're going to use. Now, if you want to bring that uh, price even lower, there is a coupon code in the description as well, which you can take advantage of. Perhaps some of you will think that this is not how automating the curtains should look like and would be in favor of more integrated solutions like motorized rails, etc. However, if you think about all people that are actually renting the place, it's not always possible and this is where Switchbook is here to save the day. By the way, I do not have a posting schedule, so I think it's the easiest way to follow me on the social media of your choice and I'm going to list them in here for you. You know how YouTube works, I'm not going to teach you all of that. Feel free to use any YouTube tools to get notifications you like. As for now guys, thanks so much for watching and I'm definitely going to see you in the next video quite soon. Take care, bye!